question for us all. Do we resonate with function more than we do fellowship? Do we resonate with the outcome more than we do oneness? Are we driven by function? Are we driven by the outcome as God's people? You know, our identity is not found in what we do for Christ. Our identity is not found in our function or our outcome. Identity is discovered in fellowship. Identity is discovered in oneness with God. You know, we're invited to this in Christ life. Christ is in us and we are to be in Christ. We have been invited to have oneness with God, spiritual oneness with the creator of this earth. It's called fellowship. And the early church were devoted to this oneness of spirit. You know, we see Jesus in John 17 praying this incredible prayer. He could have prayed for function. He could have prayed for outcome, but he didn't. He prayed for oneness. He prayed for fellowship. Why? Because God knows a church that's one with him, a God that is in fellowship with him, manifests God's love in the earth. And a lost world would know that Jesus was sent for them because of the oneness, because of the fellowship in the body. You know, fellowship and oneness of spirit in the body is quite a rare thing. You see a lot of function. You see a lot of people being outcome driven, outcome focused. The problem with that is the outcomes are God's, not ours. And if we all committed our lives to being in fellowship, oneness with God, I wonder what the outcome could be. I wonder what the function would be. You see, here's the thing. Oneness and fellowship will always produce function and outcome. But function and outcome will never produce fellowship and oneness. We are called to be one before we're called to be anything else. Are you in oneness? Are you in fellowship? We've confused fellowship with friendship. We've confused fellowship with having cups of tea. We've confused fellowship with companionship. But fellowship, oneness, is where you will find this incredible life within you in an alignment to the great commandment. And so I want to encourage us all today. Ask yourself this. Are you led and driven by the outcome? Are you trying to formulate the outcome? Or are you inspired by being one with God, having fellowship with him, and from that place, allowing your life to form itself? I pray this encourages you today.